Welcome to the figure zone. I got some cool figures for you today. And we got some stuff shipping now. Hot Toys Thor from Thor Love and Blunder. Standard and deluxe versions. Then we have the Asmus Toys Yu Yu Hakusho Yusuke Uramashi in Standard and Luxury. And So So Toys John Head Sculpt and Shirt Old Man Logan. Prepare your wallets. The pre-orders are coming. Juan HW Toys, Xuan Yuan, Sword Sky Traces, Tuoba Uer, Standard and Deluxe Versions. Quarter 1 of 2025, and I'm not sure the price because I've only seen it in like Malaysian market so far. Both versions come with a pile of weapons and accessories, and you're not only going to get one, but two wet dream bandages. So now you can dream about her, and then she'll bandage you up when you wake up, and probably have to change your sheets too. Anyway, she does look pretty cool, and if you guys are interested, definitely do a little search on the internet, see which market you want to get her from, and enjoy your bandages. Instant Studio. Night says... Night says... Yi Zong Sheng Book Mystery Series Scarecrow. Quarter 1 of 2025. Standard version in China prices two eighty five. U.S. prices three nineteen. Deluxe China prices four fifty five. U.S. prices five hundred five bucks. Now this dude is thirteen point eight inches tall. I'm not sure how big this little platform thing is, but that looks pretty freaking massive there too. It's got some metal parts going on there. From what I can tell, the standard is just a figure and some accessories. The Deluxe comes with a giant, amazingly detailed Scarecrow cross diorama, a giant crow hat, small mummies, and a lantern. Studio Sundowner, Advent of Marvelous League, Dragon Pajra, quarter three of 2024 and 350 bucks. Now this guy is 12.6 inches tall. He's got 32 points of articulation. Now this is a limited edition figure with a signed authentication, 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 there it is, card. It also says each piece is unique, so they might make slight changes for each figure. That would be kind of cool if like the paint was like slightly different in some spots. Each one would be awesome. Tough Guys, Cuban Agent Reissue, quarter four of 2024 and 150 bucks. And it's Paloma from the movie 007. I think I'll just die. Now you got the head with the rooted hair, seamless body, and it's the same figure, so same accessories, and she does look pretty freaking awesome. Underverse, beautiful chemistry in Zin Shin, Skeen series, Exorcist JJ, quarter two of 2024, and this is 190 bucks. Now, she does look really cool. It's got a bunch of accessories there and that cool little ghost guy. He's got his own like little flight stand that's clear, so it looks like he's just hovering there. It's a pretty cool figure, kind of cartoony looking. So those underverse figures have that style, but still cool. Hot Toys, BVS Armored Batman 2.0, quarter three of 2025. Standard is 300 bucks, deluxe is 370 bucks. This dude's 12.9 inches tall. He's got a brand new redesigned muscular body and improved paintwork and weathering effects. He's got lots of die cast parts now, including the head with the LED light up eyes. He's got some swap up upable face plates. He got the chest, shoulder pads, and the shin armor. Now he's also got a wired cape, LED light up stand. The deluxe has a bonus battle damaged head with movable eyes. USB powered LED light up kryptonite spear. Swap out battle damaged armor pieces in a diorama stat. He definitely looks way cooler than the first version. Let's hope they fix the articulation because my guy was like just moving his legs. I felt like he was going to fall over. He was so freaking heavy. He almost felt like he was going to break every time I tried to like move his arms and stuff. So he was in like a pretty much statue pose, unfortunately. Martha! And for my favorite one six scale statues of the day, Pink Cat Bunnystein Fantasy Sumir Hush Hush Cocktail Version, quarter four of 2024 and 235 bucks. She comes posed with the cool looking bar counter and the bar stool, and she also has a swap out chest piece, which 
you kind of need for this figure because, you know, it's totally necessary. But, you know, of course, if you got this thing on display, you might want to hide this when your family comes over. Now she gets the Al Bundy seal of approval. In my last 1-6 video, Al Bundy did not make an appearance, so I got to make up for it. Now we have the Lemon Studio Chainsaw Man Power statue, quarter two of 2024. And it's around like 250 bucks or more. I'm not quite sure. I've only seen the prices on some places I've never been to before ordered from. Limited to 188 pieces. She is 12.2 inches tall with the whole thing together. Swap out silicone birthday suit chest piece with removable knocker locker piece. And she gets the Gene Simmons. Oh yeah. Now, there's still plenty more figures left in this video, but if you're enjoying it so far, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button so YouTube shares the video with more people. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the action figure news. You can now also follow me on Instagram. If you guys like saving money in action figures, use my Giant Toy Store and other links in the description below. They are my trusted overseas seller where I get tons of my motherfucking figures from. You can also help out the channel by using my Sideshow Collectibles link in the description below. If you don't have to buy the figure in a link, any purchase or pre-order helps me out big time. And if you guys use the link, I'll give you a shout out in the next video. It's only one per person, unfortunately. i got to talk to Sideshow about that. Maybe they can fix that. And thanks so much everyone who's used it already. You guys are motherfucking awesome. And for the awesome custom of the day, this one is from me. This is my Star Wars... Mara Jade. I've been working on her for a while and finally finished her up. As good as I want to do it for now. The holster is a slightly different color, but I can always get some kind of leather dye to match that up with the rest of them. Originally, I used this cool YM Toys female head, but it looked way too small for the giant bosom on this one. So I eventually went with the original head that came with this TB League seamless body. What's well, a cool effect that happened? I used Saran Wrap to get the jumpsuit on because it's so sticky on the body i kept the saran wrap on the bottom parts of her legs and it has a cool sparkly look for her pants i'm digging on it three zero fallout t45 hot rod shark power armor quarter four of 2024 and it's 430 bucks now this dude is 14.5 inches tall as he should be you got the endoskeleton body with over 35 points of articulation, removable armor, LED light up, page flip, and helmet. And they also include a random male head sculpt, which is pretty cool. It would have been cool if they included a bunch of other head sculpts just for the fun of it. But yeah, this thing looks crazy awesome. Kill Gear, Urban Raider Gear. Bounty Hunter Tactical Squad, quarter four of 2024 and 246 bucks. This is an amazing looking figure. It's pretty much a Star Wars Mandalorian wearing modernized tactical gear and it totally works. He's fully armored and comes with a pile of weapons, gear, and accessory. You can also purchase the armor set as a standalone set for 82 bucks. You can make your own pretty much custom figure if you want there. But yeah, this figure looks mother freaking crazy. Now, I'm not sure if this is from D. Woon, who's made a butt ton of amazing figures. But this thing, yeah, this is really cool. I am totally digging on it. And there's the armor right there. Yeah, D. Woon has a bunch of cool figures out there. You guys can check out his Facebook page. He's got so much stuff. It looks like one of his guys, I'm not sure if he decided to mass market this thing for, of course, like a limited amount. Or if this is like another company, but yeah. Definitely awesome to have in your collection. It'll still fit in with your Star Wars guys. It'll look like a uh, special tactical squad, almost like the Death Troopers. Oh, I'm loving this. Also in the description below, I've got a bunch of links down there. Once my Facebook group. Join up a lot of cool people, a lot of collection figures. Let me know your thoughts on these figures in the comments below. Who are you going to get? Who are you going to pass on? Who do you want these companies to make next? And if you want to see some more action figure awesomeness, check out the videos to the left. It'll play list to the right. Thanks so much for watching. Till next video. Thank <laughs> you.